Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're well. Normal process with mics on either side of the room, and we'll take a show of hands for questions. Um, we'll take questions in English first, followed by any questions in Dutch afterwards. So we'll start, Simon. Hi, Pep. Um, obviously, we've been asking the same kind of questions for a few games now. What are you working on and what are you hoping to see tomorrow that's been different to the last few games? Prepare the next game, what is Feyenoord, and try to beat them in the, in, in the way we, can, we believe we can do it. I don't know another, another way. The same way we were able to win some games in a row, thinking what's next, what do you have to do to beat them? It's the same. I mean, you don't, you don't, sorry, you don't feel as though you need to fundamentally change anything within the, the team and the squad. What, what should I change? Play. What should I change? Well, sometimes people react to losing. If I should games. change in the first season, and everyone asked to change, we will not win seven Premier Leagues in eight years. Impossible. Now I'm not going to change, although we believe the success we have and our big, big believers in the process and the fundamentals that we have to do. What you have to believe is that the players are injured, come back in the best form. The players are playing a lot of minutes for the reason are injured. Some rest to come back, get a good, one good result to change our mind, and and believe completely deeply that uh, when we are winning a lot, a lot, a lot, always I th was thinking these two shall pass, and right now these two shall pass too. So life, ne nothing, anything is eternal. So you were in a moment that we start to win again, that we were winning a lot of games. I was thinking we're going to lose games. It's unusual, yeah, right. So this team, basically because this team won a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot during many, 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 many years. And that's why when that's happened, so it's for all of us, me first, oh, what's happened? And of course we're thinking, but I think in the... In, the, in this situation, have to be go more direct to our principles. To the, don't change much, less than ever. You have to be certainty to the players that doing this is going to happen. Because at the end, we had 26 shoots against uh, Spurs. We had more expecting goals than them. Uh, we create a lot of chances. A team like create few during the average during the season. But there are departments that we are not strong enough. And that's why when we lose balls in certain positions and when the transitions we don't win that duels, on the long balls we don't win that duels, or in one against one because physic because they are stronger than us, we have to run. We have to run backwards. Because our fourth central defenders are not there and are not still ready, ready, ready because they were injured. And our main player for these transitions, the players rather is not there. Because we can survive because with four central defenders, I put Manu and John and holding midfielders. Right? With Ruby behind, with Nathan, with Josko, we will be stable, we will be strong in that box, but we don't have it. Had to play with Gundo, he's attacking midfielder, our best guy to arrive into the box, but had to play holding midfielder because the other holding midfielder is injured, it's Kova, like it's another player can do it. And it has to be alongside to Rico to have us a lot of pass, a lot of control to do it. And what you happen, you have to adapt. And it's not because they won, it's not because they are soft, it's not because they don't want, it's not because they are lazy, because we have 26 shoots on target and clear, clear chances. Clear ones in front of the keeper. Bicari was exceptional. But what do you have to do? Insist. Create more. 26 not enough? More. They try to concede less. And one day we're going to win a game. We're going our mind clear. It will be Tuesday tomorrow. I hope so. If not, next Sunday. If not, next. But the desire is there to change it. And we're going to try. Okay. Um, you talked about after the game against Tottenham that you're struggling a little to score goals at the moment in this in this run of form at the moment. And of course, in the beginning of the season, Erling was scoring a lot <laughs> a lot of the goals. Mm. And now that he's not finding the target so frequently as he did in the beginning of the no, season. he find the target. Sometimes the keeper save it. So now that's sorry. true. I know where you were talking about. Yeah. I th I would think the reason is not Erling. Without Erling, will be more trouble. Mm. But of course, our injuries, our wingers, we have. Uh, Four or five wingers, so we have just one available. Of course, we lack the goals for that position, and perhaps because maybe it's not his speciality, maybe because there are no wingers. I feel Phil was so so productive the last season, but this season struggled in the beginning of the season for some niggles and injuries and everyone, and that 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 make an influence. Of course, after Erling, you have Josko, John, Kova, our top scorers. That is not normal. So you know we need more players and attacking midfielders. That are, Kevin has been injured, two months. Uh, so that is the reality, and you have to adapt. Without them, you have to survive. You have to 
I said, create more chances than being there. But we are lucky that we have hurling. You know that? And every game, every game, every game, have three or four chances to clear. And that makes me feel this is what I want my team. You know, create to help him to be there. And one day we'll score. We'll score two or three like I've done since three years ago, right? But does it feel like you're in this situation that uh, you're a little too dependent on Erling scoring the goals if, if you're going to get goals at all in this moment? Tell me one team with Erling should play will, be, will not be depending. Good point. Yeah, fair enough, I would say. Richard? Uh, hi, Norway, hi. Norway is depending for Erling to score goals or not? Yeah. With Sorlos as well, I know, but yeah, okay. Hi, Pep. You mentioned the other day that the squad had 12 players in it who were 29 or over. Mm -hmm. Five who were 30 or over started the other day against uh, Tottenham. Now, clearly these players have done great things for you and, and for the team. It, does there come a point where there's a danger that the team is getting a bit too old? No, it depends on the performance. There are players who are 30 and more than 30 and performing incredibly well. It depends on that. So there are players with 23 that perform not good. So it depends on the performance. I don't see the age. Uh, we have the reality. But I think all the teams have players with uh, certain ages and the other one younger. But the analysis is not, from my point of view right now, is for the fact that uh, we are not getting results because we have the 12 players. Because a few months ago, few months ago, fewer, they were the same age. They won the Premier League, FA Cup final. And we lost a competition qualifying against Real Madrid, performing in maybe in our best. So it's not, I would say, big different. So when you're sort of analysing things and you've given some of the reasons, it's... At the end of the season, yeah. Hmm. At the end of the season, during the season, I said, OK. Hmm. We see, always depend the performance. I said before, I'm here because I'm here. But if I don't perform well, I will not be here. So here you have to... Our standards are there, you have to continue to be there. And of course you can drop. Tell me one team in the world that cannot drop a little bit after, you know, being a, beyond exceptional for many, many years. Being, I'm sorry, I wanted to defend what we have done because I know these guys. I don't want to... I'm few, a few times, maybe never, I never blame one player here. I had to tell them the reality is they are not stupid, they know exactly our reality, but I'm not here to say the reason why is this or this one. There are a lot of factors, minimum factors that make an influence. I will diagnose it. I will be able to make a diagnosis that said the reason why is this reason, I would take it. I would take it immediately, but it's not about that. It's not as simple as that. So there are many, many factors. And now the most important thing is not the tactics, it's the okay, we have to win a game in terms of desire, and after what happened, everything will be you know, it would be better. Uh, just, just following on from what you're saying there, you, to, to win and keep winning and win as much as these players have done is, isn't normal. There's a lot of players that, that can't do that. And th there'll come a point where, I'm sure you asked that, can they keep doing, do they have that desire and motivation to continually keep you know, pushing themselves? And I think you often say in the past that you need to see each season that my players still have that. Do you, do you sense with some of them, that there is, even if it's just a tiny bit, there's been that little, they've, they've won but now so it's much. Easy. Now it's easy to say because we lost five five games and say, now nah, we decrease. It's easy for the manager to blame, yeah, the other mentality is not there and they don't want it. It's because, not, it's, it's because we don't run. I, I don't believe in that. I don't, I don't, so uh, uh, I learned from my period when it comes situations, Bill calm, don't trick to my analysis. So, because we'll be wrong. Sometimes, in my experience, I'm managing the feet, I shout to the team after the game, and after that, day after, on that night, right after the game, or early morning with my coffee, I say, why are you talk with the plate? Why should I say that? So, relax. So, I have to be more, have to be cold, you know, to see, not the performance, to <coughs> see arriving time, how they care, how they are here what they do for the team. There are many, many, many things. It's not for the we win or we lose. And that is not about... It's, I would say it's quite normal after, again, because the, what happened in the past make an influence in our lives, right, in, in the right moment. And we won a lot. In the beginning of the season, the influence can be, you know, but in the beginning of the season, we're top of the league. Still, we are second. If we start to, to lose games or continue to lose games again and again, we'll finish eight or nine in the table because it's so tight. But 
good will happen. He has second in the table. Of course, one team is performing incredible in terms of results, and that's why it's, they, they take a, a gap right now. But still, we are there. But it's not about that. It's not about the results. It's not about, of course, it's at the end. But right now, it's, it's about the performance. In the beginning of the season, it was really, really good. Except Bournemouth game, I said many times, the other games will perform well. But we are not consistent enough. We are not solid in every aspect. From my point of view, maybe I'm wrong for the incredible amount, amount, amount of, of absence. So with just one, you can handle it too, but there's a lot in an important, important position. Said so now, John Stone, for example, now I can play. I can play 45 minutes. But after one week, 10 days without training, you need the rhythm. And there are many aspects that they are involved in, in that position. But what I said the last press conference, sooner or later, should happen. Maybe I didn't expect to lose five in a row, but it should happen. If the winner should happen, the leader will drop after the success that we had. It's normal. But the analysis will be in, in December if you have to do something. And of course, in the end of the, the, the year, the season, I said, OK, what do you have done this season? What do you have to do to, of course, to be more solid, to be more solid next season? But these guys gave us a lot, and this guy will give us a lot. I had the feeling. I had the feeling that this season will do a very, very good things. I don't, I don't give up, and I have the feeling that it will be there. And if it's happened, it's happened, because the human beings can happen. Well, well, lots of hands, so just one question, please. Jamie at the front. Thank you. Hi, Pep. Um, Kevin De Bruyne, obviously, since the Champions League final, you won, and he went off in that game. He has struggled with injury, hasn't he? I know you've missed him a lot. Um, he's obviously getting close to fitness now. Can he be the factor that gets you back to winning ways because of that extra quality that he can bring to a team? Of course, I will. all of us, he the first is fighting and training more than ever. He finally come back to his best. Of course, he's not 24, 25, 26 or 27 when he's our best. Now have a certain age and now, of course, last season was five months out. This season play in the first game. And last, last game before, yeah, before Spurs, he came to me and said, oh, it's the first day I didn't feel anything. You know, I feel I have pain. The first time until last two months. You know, and that is a point. The other point is, you are ready for 90 minutes, the rhythm that we play in that, of course we will need time. It's like season when we come back at the five mount, play 30 minutes, 45, 35 minutes, 40. Only I asked for Kevin, it was he's looking for is, I don't have pain. Pain in terms of everyone in that stage just have pain, but I can play or I can train in a good, and after that, Kevin will give us something like is unique. You know, of course we need him. Will be, you know, no, no, will be no sense if I would say the opposite. Hi, Pep. You, you often say, and I think people understand why that you you can't predict if your team is going to go on another long winning run. You always say you never know if that's going to happen. But is it going to need that now from your team no, the at run some is point? To make a run of victories? Yeah. No. In the league, maybe? No. It's just one. You, you, you have to win one. <laughs> but I mean, in order to claw back for, on Liverpool and sort of. Yeah, but, but in the position that we are, we're playing results. Are you thinking we're going to ready to win the Premier League? I won't be surprised. No. You have to win one game. And have to see, win the next one. And learn for this one to get, get better. This is the mindset that we have to have. So we have to have the mindset, oh, it will be, well, if we don't win, it's we don't win. So I want the players perform well. I want the players in certain departments more focused, more do we have to do, and, and step by step, we, we come back. This too shall pass. Life is like that. When you, you think it's perfect, you are wrong. It's going to rain tomorrow. <laughs> so it's, it's life. Hi, Pep. Pep. Just back on to Kevin. Uh, he's coming in here shortly. He's out of contract in the summer. What, what do you see as his sort of long-term future? Do you see it being here or...? I don't know. How long can he go on at this level, do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Kevin, I'm pretty sure, will be honest. So he want to finish here with the season or next one or next one, being at an, his best. He's, I think he's not be... He will not be here when he f believes for the reason that last part he doesn't feel I can be the Kevin I can produce and I can help the team like he has done in the last decade. He's the only player in the state, so I'm pretty sure of that. And in this kind of situation, like David Silva was, like many cases, he will decide. 
he will decide for the best for him, of course, for the team, because I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be in the position that cannot be. I'm not saying playing every three days during 11 months. I'm not saying that. But when he performs, I have to play. I'm the best Kevin as possible. And unfortunately, for the reasons just injured, could not deliver. I've got, um, obviously, five defeats brings with it quite a lot of questions. But do you get the impression that it would only take one performance, one win, to repair a lot of that? And particularly in this week when you've got Liverpool at the end of it, that we could be talking on Monday in a completely different way if you win these both th these next two games. Yeah, but listen, I didn't expect never ever. Uh, I, I want to be honest. Never never expect for the fact that we won. I want to convince the audience, the beautiful audience, or the fans, or the other ones that we have done is what we are right to have to do. Never, ever. So I knew it, and we lose, everything is in doubt. It's our business. So we have to win games. We have a big compliment, we have a good contract, the people want to continue, it's because we win. Not because we do something special. We don't win, we need to do tackles again. When we don't win, we have to change our, the way we approach. Because they know, the people don't know the way we want to do it. And. We have to win games, so it's nothing changed. We, we can win games in the next games, we can win, but if we perform well, not well, we're going to be down. But of course now we have to change the dynamic. Winning games is a, football is a place, is a sense of confidence and, and the fact when you win games, what they give you is massive and that is what you have to try to do. In this kind of situation, when you've had a, a few poor results, do you find yourself talking to the players more to try and lift their mood, or do you leave it to Sometimes. The... When I feel it, yes. When I don't feel it, no. Sometimes individual, yeah. Sometimes in the group, what I feel. No, no, no. I don't have a programme, no. Have you done that recently over the last couple of weeks? When? Uh, no, not much. Not much. Nine years, I know them quite well, most of them. So, and some of them I spoke a lot, and now it's not necessary to speak more, and some of them I speak now more. So it depends. Depends what I feel. If I try someone in the corridor, okay, come here. I'm going to talk to you. It depends. Hey, Pep. You've um, talked about quite a lot of big picture stuff today. What what would a good season look like for you now I don't from know. this point on? Over our standards. When our standards it will be a bad season. Where you come from? Tell me. Where we come from? Me. No, we will come from as a team. <laughs> as a team. No, you don't play, Jack. <laughs> we will come from as a team. No, hi there. It's always we lose. Future, we're going to lose the comparison. So we know that. But um, it's nice, you know, to rebuild the confidence for the team and try to, you know, when everybody trusts and uh, do it. And I think we deserve it, right? Some patient. I said to the players, we deserve some patience that they lose games. Don't worry, guys. So it will not be a big, big mess. So you, you have to, you are defending a legacy, a tradition, and a success that is so difficult to handle. So that's why I relax. If we don't do it, we don't do it. It's just to try to focus in the short period of time and 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 win and win the next games. So what I want is the commitment. What I want is the commitment, the commitment, the commitment to the the players still have. What do you have to do? I, I told them many times. We will congratulate them, our team, the team that to take our crown, because they deserve it. Not because we don't, we we deliver them, we give them. And just one thing is not going to happen: is be ourselves and the commitment every day and every training and every game to do what you have to do. This is the only way I know. Got time for two questions what in Dutch. Please. What makes Feyenoord a tough opponent for tomorrow? And right now, is every time is tough for us. It doesn't matter which opponent opponent is going to face, we will be tough. Because the situation is the situation. But at the same time, they have a strength and we are going to play good to discover their weaknesses. So but of course the Champions League team, a traditional team, alongside PSV and Ajax Amsterdam, the best three teams in Holland. So tradition football with a especially quality talent ones and uh, and uh, and yeah. yeah. Did you have contact with your Dutch friends, for example, Ronald Koeman? And Sorry? 
Did you have contact with no. your Dutch friends, Ronald Koeman or something? What kind of influences from Dutch football you bring here at Manchester because you like the philosophy from Johan Cruyff? Uh, you like to say that Holland created football here in England as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's an influence for Johan Cruyff, absolutely. Everybody knows it, so everybody knows it. But, you know, I would say that the success of this club belongs especially for the English football, you know? Because most of the this club or this team has is for the English football. The earth is, the air and the earth belongs to here. And we came here to be involved in that culture. Otherwise, I will train in, in Holland. Last question, please. Yes, hello, Dutch Television. Uh, should Feyenoord be a bit uh, worried? Because if Manchester City loses five in a row, which never happens, there's going to follow a response tomorrow. Should they be a bit worried? I don't know. I don't know. I have to ask his manager. So I don't know. I'm allowed to think about, of course, a little bit Feyenoord to know, but uh, always I, I thought in this kind of periods, with the feeds in a row, is to think more than ever in yourself and our principles and what you have to do. This is my feeling. Can you share just a couple of words about Arne Slot, the work he's doing now in Liverpool, but also the work, how you follow that he did the past three seasons at Feyenoord in Rotterdam? Well, it's really good. So arriving the first season in, in a... In a team like Liverpool, the high expectations, I think the foundation of the team was there. But uh, the results are there. So in Champions League, in the Premier League, he's doing magnificent, magnificent. So, yeah. So they prove the quality of he has. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.